isang magandang magandang buhay mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul at sa ngalan po ng mga pari, mga brothers, mga temporary professed members at mga seminarista ng aming pong kongregasyon dito sa Pilipinas at sa Macau, Doing All for the Gospel at sa ngalan din po ng mga pari ng Arts Diocese of Manila at ng TB Maria ang ating mission partner, kayo po ay aming tinitipan ngayong ikadalawamput isa ng Hulyo 2019. Ito po ang ikalabing anim or 16th Sunday of Ordinary Time sa atin pong liturgical calendar of the year. Siyempre po, nais nating batiin at ipanalangin ang ating mga regular na kadaupang palad dito po sa ating Sambuhay TV Mass. Kabilang na po riyan yung mga nagpapagaling sa kanilang mga tahanan, lalo-lalo na po ang ating mga kapatid na mga cancer patients at yung mga elderly po, yung mga lolo, lola, yung inyo pong mga caregivers, bagam, ito man ay mga relatives po ninyo o mga professional caregivers. We would like also to pray para po sa mga iba't ibang mga persons on duty tulad po ng mga pulis, militar, at gayon din po ang mga doctors at mga health workers sa iba't ibang mga emergency rooms ng mga ospital. And of course, we would like to pray para po sa ating mga OFWs. Libo-libo na mga OFWs, lalo-lalo na po ang ating pong mga seafarers o yung mga naglalayag sa karagatan. Greetings and prayers din po sa ating pong Canada-based na mga mission partners. Ito po ang grupo ni Brother Alex Pideris. Kasama po si Dorothy Santos Merck, Ana Adorna, Emily at Dante Reyes, Joy at Alex Reyes, Doktora Jo Adorna Guzman at Alicia Adorna at ang inyo pong mga pamilya. We would like also to pray and to bless ito pong ating mga long time na mga kasambuhay si Leslie Masigan at ang kanyang mga anak, si Miguel, si Sammy, si Jake, at gayon din po si Tony at Lourdes Chowa, si Ed at Norma Arrojado, George and Noemi Villarus, at ang kanila pong pamilya at CPA office. Gayon din po si Didith at Joey Jacob, Mariel Diaz, ang kusina ni Kambal, ni Irma at ni Delio San Miguel, si Corazon Ochoa at Rosita Kauyan, dyan po sa Discovery Bay sa Hong Kong, si Alma Gonzales, at gayon din po ang ating mga long time na love offerers, si Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, May Asuncion Resio, Rachel Esteban at Leilani Paladio Himotea. Binabati nga rin po natin ang ating mga kaibigan sa pilgrimage, ang spell group ng March 2019, gayon din po ang Holy Land group ng October 2018 na kinabibilangan po ni na uh, Father Randy, Charlie, Joe Alves at ni Father Joy at gayon din po ng grupo ni na Dr. Cora Cabral Geraldine Lee, Grace, Lara, Mary Joyce Brillo, Jimmy Olaso, dyan po sa Amerika, si Attorney Juana San Benaventura, si Nino Molina, Willie at Arlina Onglao, at gayon din po si Anton Santos at Juliet O'Reilly, at ang grupo din ni Chrissy Highland, Rosalie C., Rosebel D., at William D., at gayon din ang grupo po ng mga tantwiko, si Dana, Kathleen at Tal. And uh, of course, we would like to also greet itong si uh, Attorney uh, oh, yeah, Grace Pulido Tan at uh, Nonoy Tan. Uh, greetings din po kay Tito Manny Recto sa kanyang 80th birthday 
at uh, si Sister Lulu Recto naman sa kanyang 79th birthday sa buwang ito ng July. I'd like to also greet ang kanilang kaibigan na si Pearl and Rafi Rodriguez at uh, lahat po ng mga nakasama po natin sa atin pong pilgrimage ng March 2019. Nice din po nating i-acknowledge ang atin pong mga natanggap na mga sharing at mass intentions mula po sa ating social media accounts. Una na po riyan si Narcisa Glore na humihingi po ng panalangin para sa kanyang mga anak at kanyang asawa na nandyan po sa bataan. Si Maria Socorro Fuentes, healing naman po para kay Claro at sa lahat po ng mga kaibigan na may sakit at uh, yung mga tumatanda na. Oh, totoo po yan. Eternal rest din po, sabi niya, para kay Evangelina Hiliodoro at lahat po ng mga kaluluwa sa purgatorio, lalo-lalo na yung mga hindi na naaalala. Si Aisha Fofana, anais niyang ipanalangin po natin ang eternal repose ni Maria Cristina Daniela Tenefrancia. At si Marie Marie, nais din niya din pong ipanalangin natin naman ang kanyang pangangailangan ng kagalingan sa sakit niya, sa sikmura at panghihina ng katawan uh, na nawa ito ay pagalingin sa ngalan ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Si Weng de la Cruz Gabriel, sabi niya ito po ang ikaanim na araw ng akin pong pag-aaten ng Sambuhay TV Mass at nais po niyang ipanalangin ang eternal repose ni Rolando de la Cruz, Romeo Gabriel at lahat ng mga kaluluwa ng kaibigan at kamag-anakan. Gayun din, pasasalamat sa mga blessings na natanggap po niya, lalo-lalo na po blessings of healing dun sa mga may sakit na family members. Si Pilar's Chocolato, humihingi po siya ng panalangin para po sa healing at gayon din po eternal repose ni Hector, Pilar, Florentino, Mirna, Raul, ni Father Nene, Salvacion, Pasensio, and again all the souls in purgatory. Si Teresa de Jesus nagpapasalamat po sa Diyos sa safety at protection ng kanyang pamilya and kanya for helping us in our daily needs. Ito naman si Analisa o Campo Pagaragan, humihingi siya ng guidance para sa kanyang mga anak at grandchildren na nawa ang kanila pong pananampalataya ay gawing matibay ng Panginoon. Si Infinity Love, Healing and Speedy Recovery for Steward Lee and Healing and Good Health for Edward Mo and Anna Yuin. Si Aliorde Mancera Pat, humihingi naman po ng blessings of health, contentment, safety sa kanya pong mga loved ones as well as the eternal repose of the souls of parents and brothers. Si Jeanette de la Cruz, blessings at healing prayer para po kay Lawrence Mack at si Cristeta Obedosa, uh, intentions para po sa healing ni Ernesto Obedosa. Ngayon po idadako tayo sa atin pong uh, pag-prepare, paghahanda para po sa banal na misa sa pamagitan po ng pagtingin uh, natin sa iba't ibang mga salita ng Diyos, mga readings na atin pong maririnig sa banal na misa. At uh, para po sa akin, ang dating ng mga readings ngayon is that they always tell us or they all tell us about spiritual hospitality. Yan. Alam nyo, sanay na sanay tayong uh, mapakinggan yung hospitality na material 
yung hospitality na cultural, di ba? Pero meron din po palang spiritual hospitality. At uh, una sa lahat, may encounter po natin sa Word of God ngayon, Genesis chapter 18, 1 to 10, kwento po ni Abraham kung papaanong sa kalagitnahan ng araw, ah, sabi doon habang tumitindi ang init ng araw, tatlong estranghero ang dumating sa tolda ni Abraham at bilang kanyang pagpapakita ng kanyang hospitality, yung Eastern way of hospitality, inanyayahan niya itong tatlong estranghero'ng ito na pumasok sa tolda at uh, kanyang hinainan ng pagkain ng pananghalian. At sabi po dito sa mga sandaling yon ay uh, ipinahayag ng tatlong estranghero ang kanilang pakay which is to tell Abraham and Sarai na sa susunod na taon sa ganitong panahon ay mangyayari ang kanilang matagal ng inaasam-asam na pagkakaroon ng anak na lalaki. Ayan. So, makikita po natin dito, yung palang spiritual hospitality, una sa lahat is a uh, uh, welcoming, welcoming God in the presence of others. No? Lalo-lalo na po doon sa tinatawag natin ng mga strangers. Yung mga hindi natin kilala. Yung mga sa tingin ng lipunan ay maliliit na mga tao. Yan. Pwedeng dyan po magpapakilala ang Diyos sa ating buhay. If we have spiritual hospitality. And then, sa second reading, uh, sabi po doon ng uh, letter of Paul to the Col Colossians chapter 1, Verse 24 to 28, sabi po ni San Pablo, I am a minister according in, in accordance with God's stewardship. So dapat yung atin pong hospitality sa ngalan po ng pananampalataya ay hospitality na mayroong kaugnayan sa mga ibinibigay na mga biyaya ng Diyos sa atin. So, ano ba yung mga blessings ni Lord sa buhay po natin? Then, doon dapat po nating tignan ano din yung mga ibabahagi natin sa iba. Sa atin pong Ibanghelyo ay matutunghayan po natin ang kwento ng Luke chapter 10, verse 38 to 42. At ito po ang pagbisita ng Panginoong Yesus sa kanya mga kaibigan sa Bethany na malapit lang po sa siyudad ng Jerusalem na kung saan nagpakita po ng hospitality ang magkapatid na Martha and Mary. Pero mapapansin po natin na bagamat silang dalawa ay kaibigan ng Panginoon, mas inappreciate ng Panginoon ang pagpapahalaga ni Maria sa pamamagitan ng kanyang pagbibigay ng atensyon at panahon sa atin pong Panginoong Yesu Kristo. And that is true. Kapag pinag-usapan po natin ang spiritual hospitality, madali po ang maging hospitable sa mga material na bagay. Pero yung pagiging hospitable natin sa mga bagay na hindi mabibilang tulad po ng panahon, tulad po ng atensyon, tulad po ng kagandahang loob, those are the things that many times are needed. Lalo-lalo na yung pagbibigay din po natin ng pasensya sa ibang tao. And that is also part of spiritual hospitality. Kaya po, alam nyo, palagay ko, napaganda itong lesson po natin for today, the 16th Sunday of Ordinary Time, na kung nais mo na makita ang Diyos, ang presensya ng Diyos sa iyong buhay, then you should have this particular practice of spiritual hospitality. Looking for God dun sa mga taong dumadating sa iyo, lalong-lalo na yung mga taong sa unang palagay mo ay istorbo. Ganon, di ba? Hindi mo inaasahan. Or looking for God dun sa mga panahon na ikaw ay hinihingan ng hindi material na bagay kung hindi higit pa dun. 
oras, yan, panahon, pasyensya, atensyon. Yan. So, sana po, no, yung atin pong uh, prayer life opens us to this particular possibility of spiritual hospitality. Ngayon po, tayo na magsisimba, narito na po ang banal na misa mula po sa oratory ni Maria, reyna ng mga apostol sa aming pong kumbento, Society of St. Paul, San Antonio Village, Makati, Metro Manila. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Like Martha in today's Gospel, we can be anxious and upset about many things when entertaining people. We can learn something from Mary. We can go out of our way to be attentive to others. We can spend time listening to their stories. They need to be listened to just as much as they need to be served. The same is true in our life of faith. What the Lord wants of us, first of all, is to be close to Him, to put our trust in Him amid life's concerns. Sisters and brothers, we now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my, and to you, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through, through my fault, through my fault, through, through my most grievous fault, fault. Therefore, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the, all the angels and saints, and you, and you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest.
Let us pray. O Lord, show favor to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may ever be watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth of Mamre as he sat in the entrance of his tent while the day was growing hot. Looking up, Abraham saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent and greeted them, and bowing to the ground, he said, Sir, if I may ask you this favor, please do not go on past your servant. Let some water be brought that you may bath your feet and then rest yourselves under the tree. Now that you have come this close to your servant, let me bring you a little food that you may refresh yourselves and afterward you may go on your way. The man replied, Very well, do as you have said. Abraham hastened into the tent and told Sarah, Quick, three measures of fine flour, knead it and make rolls. He ran to the herd, picked out a tender choice tear, and gave it to a servant who quickly prepared it. Then Abram got some curds and milk, as well as the steer that had been prepared, and set this before the three men, and he waited on them until the tree, under the tree while they ate. They asked Abram, Where is your wife Sarah? He replied, There in the tent. One of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah will have then have a son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. One who walks blamelessly and does justice who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom to reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who lends not his money at usury, and accepts no bribe against the innocent. One who does these things shall never be disturbed. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. The second reading is a letter from St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh, I am filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church, of which I am a minister in accordance with God's stewardship given to me to bring to completion for you the word of God, the mystery hidden from ages and from generations past. But now it has been manifested to his holy ones to whom God chose to make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you, the hope for glory. It is he whom we proclaim, admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to him. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Isang maligayang pagbati sa lahat ng ating mga kasambuhay, sa lahat ng mga tumututok sa atin dito sa Sambuhay TV Mas. Isang magandang linggo po sa inyong lahat. At binabati ko rin ang ating mga kababayan na nasa ibang bansa especially yung galing Mindanao and Visayas, maayong buntag kanyong tanan, hinaot nga naamo sa maayong panglawas. May God bless you abundantly. This Sunday is the 16th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Panglabing-anim na tayo na linggo. At kung napapansin nyo, ang ating mga pagbasa ay talagang nakatutok doon sa utos ng ating Panginoon na mahalin siya at mahalin ating kapwa. It seems like dalawang utos. Mahalin ng Diyos, mahalin ng kapwa. But the way Jesus speaks about the commandment of love, makikita natin na walang paghihiwalay sa dalawa. When Jesus speaks of loving God, automatically sabihin din niya, also love your neighbor. In fact, the commandment is to love God and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Our gospel today, our readings, pinapakita sa atin na talagang walang paghihiwalay sa dalawa. Ang pagmamahal natin sa Diyos ay may pakita natin sa pagmamahal natin sa ating kapwa. Abraham and Martha and Mary show us that love of neighbor by providing hospitality to their visitors. Alam mo, may isang katangian tayo mga Pilipino na talagang nagiging bantog na tayo sa buong mundo. People who come to our country, they will say, itong mga Pilipino, ibang-iba kaysa ibang, ibang lugar, no? And they praise us and they congratulate us for our being hospitable. Kaninong umaga, tinanong ko ang isang paring kasama rito, si Father Ray, na taga Bulacan. Sabi ko, Father Ray, ano ang Tagalog ng hospitable? Sabi ni Father Ray, kagandahang loob. Tayo mga Pilipino ay may tanging kagandahang loob. Iba ang ating kagandahang loob kaysa mga, mga ibang uh, lahi. Ano? And because of that, madali sa ating may pagkaibigan. At madali sa ating tumanggap ng mga naiiba sa atin. Abraham, in our first reading, 
may dumating sa kanila ng mga bisita, tatlo. At anong ginawa ni Abraham? Tinanggap niya ang mga bisita at pinakain. Sinabi niya kay Sarah, o handa mo ang mga pagkain para sa mga mga bisitang ito. No? We can identify ourselves with Abraham. Kahit hindi natin kilala, pag ngumiti lang sa atin, agad-agad nating ini-entertain. Ano? At the next invitation is, halika, kain tayo sa bahay. No? In fact, our slogan, when we show our kagandahang loob sa iba, ang sinasabi natin ay, kumain ka na ba? When we hear people asking us that question, pinapakita nila yung kagandahang loob nila. No? Kumain ka na ba? No? Sabay ngiti sa atin. Martha and Mary, especially Martha, like Abraham, also her, her own brand of hospitality. Kung babalikan natin yung Ebanghelyo, makikita natin yung pagkakaiba ng dalawang magkapatid. Na remember, na si Jesus ay matalit na kaibigan ni Martha and Mary and Lazarus. And perhaps there were moments in Jesus' life na gusto niya pumunta doon sa bahay na kayong mga kaibigan. And this was one moment when Jesus really intended, deliberately, kinusa niyang pumunta sa bahay na kanyang mga kaibigan. The Gospel did not say anything bakit gusto ni Jesus na pumunta sa bahay ni Martha and Mary. But look, ano nangyari? Pagpasok lang ni Jesus, sino tumanggap sa kanya? Yung dalawang kapatid. But each person, Martha and Mary, expressed their own brand of hospitality. Yung kagandahang loob pala ng tao ay iba-iba. Magkaiba tayo. Your way of showing your goodness and graciousness is unique for you, for each one of us. Ang ginawa ni, ni Marta, taga, uh, pagpasok ni Jesus, takbo kasi sa kusina. Handa ka ng pagkain. Very, very familiar to us. Di ba tayo mga Pilipino ay ganyan? Pag may bisita, agad-agad pupunta sa kusina, buhos ang refrigerator, anong makakain natin? When I was in Australia, in Sydney, with Father Ruben, ang ganda na aming karanasan doon, we went to a place, uh, a house actually of a young couple from Batangas. Natatrabaho sila sa Kilkoy, yung pagawaan, yung mga butcher house, no? slaughter house. And since we are visiting them, sabi nung, nung couple, Father, off, namin, off day namin, day off namin, you come to our place. Pagpunta namin doon, talaga nandun sila sa door. Naghihintay na. Pagpasok namin doon sa nakala, nakalatag na lahat, nandun na yung pagkain, yung beer, at yung malaking pata na igigrill pa namin no? para steak. No? Ayaw mo si Father Ruben, medyo kengko yun na pare, sabi niya, ang laki naman ito. Ang sarap siguro iuwi ito. No? Yun tayo, ma- ma- mapabiro tayo mga Pilipino, hindi ba? You know what happened? Pag alis namin sa bahay, bit-bit namin ang apat na kilo na <laughs> karne. <laughs> ang sabi nung, nung yung taga-batanga, sabi niya, Don't worry, Father. Meron kaming, uh, meron kaming, binibigyan kami every, every now and then ng tigli limang kilo. Hindi nga namin alam kung saan namin ilalagay. So pag mga mga bisita, We welcome them at nagkumakain kami. That's very Martha. And Mary, ano ginawa ni Mary? Nakaupo lang siya at nakikinig kay Jesus. No? Now, what happened here? Nagkaroon ng tension dahil sabi ni Martha kay Mary, ano yung nagawa mo dyan? Help me. And so Jesus noticed her and said, Oops, Martha, Mary has done a better part. Pareho magandang pinapakita ni Martha and Mary in showing their goodness, kagandahang loob. Pero in the end, itong si Marta nagreklamo na. Na-overwhelmed siya sa trabaho niya. While Mary was peacefully sitting kasama doon si Jesus. My dear friends, simply, si Marta and Mary represent two dimensions of our love for God and neighbor. Ibig sabihin, ang kagandahang loob natin ay pinapakita natin through actions and through prayer and contemplation. There are people who are more into action. 
And so they serve people. Pupunta sila sa mga orphanages, nag-organize ng mga, mga activities for the youth. May mga tao naman na ayaw na lang ganun. Gusto nila sa simbahan, nagdadasa lang. So, both are okay. However, what is important is the heart. No? Kung nagtatrabaho ka, ang puso naman ay malayo kay Jesus, o wala din. Kung nagdadasal ka naman, you're very distracted, at yung puso mo naman ay nagagalit, hindi nagpapatawad. So it doesn't really matter. But the two dimensions must go together. In showing our goodness and graciousness to others, hindi lang hindi sapat yung yung salita, no? Hindi sapat yung naisip mo na, ah, ang bait-bait naman niya. Kailangan ipakita mo through actions. Yun ang nangyari sa amin doon sa, sa Australia, no? nung tinawagan namin ni Father Ruben yung mag-asawa, no? Talagang niyaya kami, Father, punta kayo rito, makita niyo yung lugar namin. At pinakita nga nila how great, how blessed they are. A very simple and hardworking family with a eight-year-old girl. My dear friends, as we go with our celebration, we beg the Lord, Lord, bigyan mo kami ng lakas upang sa ganun yung kagandahang loob namin ay may pakita namin in a way that is unique of us and in a way that will really honor you as God. Through actions, through words, through prayerful intentions, o ano man, as long as nanggagaling sa isang pusong nagmamahal sa isang pusong totoong talagang grateful to God. Let us pray that we can be both Mary and Martha, and why not Abraham and Sarah. Amen. We now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Maker, Maker of, of heaven and earth, of, of all things visible and invisible. I believe, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, ages. God, God from God, God, light from light, true God from true God, God. begotten not, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him, him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe, I believe in, in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, Lord, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. We now turn our, to our Heavenly Father that our lives may be marked by a deep love of Him for Him, shown in listening, hospitality, and service to others. Full of trust, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. That those who exercise authority in the church and in the government may listen to the Lord and learn from Him to be humble servants, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That those who dedicate themselves to the care of their families or to the service of the sick, the poor, and the handicapped may learn to give themselves in joy and in love, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That those who are anxious and upset about many things at home or at work may know how to give priority to the more important things and spare themselves from anxiety, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That we may mirror the kindness and compassion of Christ 
In all our encounters with our fellow men and women, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That the sick, the old, the handicapped, and the dying may be renewed by the consoling presence of the Holy Spirit, so that they may unite the pains and sufferings with Christ, we pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to our, our prayer. prayer. Father, we pray for guidance and enlightenment. Make us sensitive to the needs of others in whom we see Christ himself, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray, O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law. Accept, we pray, the sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Luis Antonio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the service command and form of divine teaching, we now dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the mm. power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We share this peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. during communion. For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things, because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I am about to leave my family, and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith make this travel a part of my mission here on earth i have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones i have to leave to do god's will while i am away from them protect them from dangers let them feel my presence through my letters and calls make us a strong family even though we are far from one another saint michael through your intercession may jesus be the light of the family and Mary be our mother too. Amen. Heart, I know my Savior I can hear him
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. The hearts of your faithful submitted to your name. Entreat your help, O Lord. And since without you they can do nothing that is just, grant by your abundant mercy that they may both know what is right and receive all that they need for their good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass ascended. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Dadako tayo sa ating pabaong katikismo mula po sa ating tuloy-tuloy na pag-aaral ng encyclical ni Pope Francis na kung tawagin po natin ay Laudato Si, Purihin Ka o Panginoon. At uh, ito po ay tungkol sa ating pagkalinga sa ating pong tahanan na kung tawagin natin ay Ang Mundo ng Kalikasan. At uh, gaya po nang nangyari, sabi ko nga, inuuna muna ni Pope Francis ang assessment, evaluation. So nakita natin ang realidad ng pollution, ang realidad ng tinatawag po natin na climate change na kaugnay pala sa lifestyle ng tao. Kaya kailangan yung conversion ng buhay at lifestyle at values ng tao. Ngayon naman po, another uh, particular experience na atin pong nakikita sa kalikasan ay yung issue daw ng tubig. Yan. Huh? Issue ng tubig. Naku, napaka-real ito. Sa maraming mga ba bahay, subdivision, sa Metro Manila at mga karatig na puok, no? walang tubig. Yan. So, dito sa paragraph 27 ng Laudato Si, ito po ang ino-open ni Pope Francis na isa daw po sa mga present situation ay yung depletion, yung dahan-dahang pagkaubos ng mga natural resources dahil po dun sa tinatawag natin na level of consumption. At hindi lamang yon habit of wasting and discarding ng napakarami. Ho? Uh, at sabi nga niya, ito yung isang bagay na nakakapagtaka. Uh, halos nauubos na natin, inuubos na natin ang yaman ng ating mundo, ngunit hindi pa rin natin masolba yung problema ng kahirapan. Marami ang nagihirap bagamat inuubos natin ang biyaya ng mundo. Saan ang problema? Di ba? So, magandang tanong po yan. Ha? Magandang tanong. In fact, sabi po ni Pope Francis, speaking about water, fresh water, fresh drinking water, ito po ay primary importance sa human life, sa anumang buhay dito sa mundo, sa ating pong ecosystem, sabi nga niya, sa issue ng health. 
O paano ka mag-aalaga ng kalusugan kung walang tubig? No? Agriculture at industry. Kaya sabi po niya, yung water poverty ay hindi lang po kakapusan sa tubig. Kung hindi, ito ay kakapusan na pwede pong maapektuhan ang marami pang gawain ng tao. Halimbawa kanya, sa Afrika ngayon, yan po ang napakalaking problema. Water poverty. People have no access to safe drinking water. So, alam niyo po, yung safe drinking water, yan po ay human rights. Yan po ay uh, uh, karapatan ng tao na may, may iinumin siya, na ma maayos ang kanyang iinumin. Kasi kung hindi po, dyan nagmumula ang maraming kamatayan at maraming uri ng sakit. Pero ano ang nagaganap? Yan. Muli, lifestyle. Anong lifestyle? First of all, oh, tayo nga ay nagpapayaman, industriya, tayo ay nagpaparami ng pagkain, farming, oh, minimina natin yung mga magagandang resources ng mundo, pero ang tanong, saan natin itinatapon ang byproducts? Yung mga chemical byproducts ng ating gawain. O, dyan lamang sa may ilog pasig, di ba? Makikita mo, ilang mga pakturya ang tapon ng tubig sa ilog pasig. O, syempre nga naman, anong mangyayari sa tubig? Kapag samot-sari ng mga kemikal, maliban do sa mga detergent, at iba't iba pang gamit natin ang ibinubuhos po natin sa tubig na yan. Of course, apektado yung tinatawag natin na water supply. Maliban po dyan, sabi nga dito ni Pope Francis sa paragraph 30, may tendensiya na sa ngalan ng ekonomiya, uh, may mga bagay na pre-privatize. Tulad kamo ng access to safe drinking water. Ngayon lang po, sa buong kwento ng sangkatauhan, ngayon lang na kailangang bilhin mo bote-bote ang tubig na iniinom mo. O, oh, di ba? Meron ka ng binabayad doon sa tubig na lumalabas doon sa inyong mga shower, etc. Bibili ka pa rin ng tubig na inumin. O, oh, kasi nga, yung ibang mga source of water na privatized na. Oh. Na privatized na. Eh dapat ito mga services ito eh. Hindi ito business. Pero yun po ang nagaganap ngayon. At sabi nga ni Pope Francis, oh, so sino ang unang apektado dito? Yung mahihirap. Meron bang pambili ang mahihirap araw-araw ng tubig na iinumin nila na maayos? Oh. So, nasaan yung rights na yan ng tao na uminom? Di ba? O, oh, eh buti pa nga yung aso, pinapainom natin eh. Buti pa yung alaga nating ibon, pinapainom natin. Alam natin, kailangan nilang uminom. Ay, yung tao, kailangan ding uminom. So, nakikita po natin na meron pong moral at meron pong spiritual issue kaugnay ng mga nagaganap sa ating kalikasan. Gaya po ng aking sinasabi, hindi lang po scientific ang issue, hindi lang po technology ang issue, hindi lang po uh, economics ang issue. Meron din pong social at moral issue na nakapaloob sa kwento ng kalikasan. At yan po ang gustong palabasin ni Pope Francis sa kanya pong encyclical na letter na hindi ito tungkol sa science. Ito'y tungkol sa values ng tao. No? Values niya at yung kanyang lifestyle. No? So siguro, pag-isipan po natin, uh, ano ang pwede natin gawin upang sa ganon maging responsible steward po tayo ng iba't ibang mga biyayang ito ng Diyos sa atin. Ngayon naman po kayo'y aming inaanyayahan na maging kasambuhay, Pauline, 
cooperator. Sa panong paraan, siyempre, kailangan po natin ipagpatuloy ang ating apostolado sa pamagitan po ng mga bagong equipments, etc. No? Malalaman po nyo na yan. Eh, Isishare po namin yan later sa inyo. So, sana po tuloy-tuloy ang atin pong sharing of blessings. At nasa screen po natin ang ating iba't ibang bank accounts na pwede nyo pong gamitin kung hindi pwede yung foundation sapagkat may issue sa ibang bansa, pwede pong yung personal account. Kung hindi po pwedeng peso, meron po tayong dollar account. Yan po ang dalhilan kung bakit meron tayong multiple accounts na ito para po sa bawat isa na gustong magbahagi. Pangalawa, on the screen you can be a kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator sa pamagitan po ng pagpapadala sa atin ng inyong mga mass intentions at short messages sa ating text account, sa ating text number. And then, of course, ipakilala po natin itong ating program sa ating po mga sa abroad. Nandyan po ang iba't ibang mga social media at digital accounts natin. At dito naman po sa Pilipinas, Nandiyan naman ang iba't ibang cable networks na gamit po ng TV Maria. Sa ngalan po ni Father Resti de la Peña at lahat po ng bumubuo ng St. Paul Audiovisuals, iniiwan po namin sa inyo ang panalangin ito ni Blessed James Alberione to spend the week well. My dear and sweet Mother Mary, Keep your holy hand upon me. Guard my mind, my heart, my senses, that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, and actions, that I may always please you, Jesus and Mary. Give me your most holy blessings. Christ.